r slash ask reddit what's criminally overpriced to you funerals dead me will never financially recover from dying read that in joe exotics accent printer ink i worked at dell 10 years or so ago we would give printers away with every computer they made a fortune from selling the ink they explained to us that ink was black gold and something like 32 dollars zero us dollars per gallon at the time Yay like 6 or 8 years ago I remember my dad got a computer it came with a printer for 20 extra bucks now I can see why. Any form of dental work. Why is it so much and not covered by dental insurance? Open bracket. I'm talking about you implants. Also, it's a scam that dental and vision are separate from health insurance. Like oh, you wanted to be able to see? That's a luxury you'll have to pay extra for. As someone who is nearly blind without glasses or contacts the prices for everything is absurd and they charge you contact fitting fees and fees for glasses on top of frames and lenses and all of that too. As if it all wasn't already costing a lot. And they always dilate your eyes before you pay. Edit. R.I.P. My Inbox. Canadian here. It's definitely cost of mobile internet plans. They're ridiculously overpriced and it makes me cry to see prices elsewhere. Edit. Thank you for all the awards. I read somewhere the average GB of data was $15. 50 in Canada. And $0. 09 in India. First world country. Third world internet and mobile plans. Ducking therapy man a decent therapist is hella expensive. I tried to get a trauma therapist recently and the one I was recommended charges $200 an hour and doesn't accept insurance. That in itself is traumatic. Edit. Q. Thanks for all the upvotes everyone. This seemed to resonate for a lot of people. While we're here. Two things I can recommend from someone who has been in the system for 16 plus years and just recently received a correct diagnosis of narcolepsy. Advocate for and get a medical workup if you can before attending therapy. Even if your PCP or psychiatrist just tries to send you to therapy without any testing. Keep fighting for it. Especially if you have chronic symptoms like depression. Many symptoms related to underlying medical conditions can mimic psychiatric conditions. It's really dangerous to sit in therapy for years without adequate medical testing to make sure you don't need medical treatment first. Also, don't take meds from a psychiatrist who doesn't order labs first or gives you a hard time about ordering labs or a sleep study. The best psychiatrists should ask for these right away and help you advocate getting them. Out of the long list of doctors I have worked with, only one ordered a sleep study and labs, and she saved my life. For those who have had terrible experiences within therapy, check out the Very Bad Therapy podcast. It's a podcast that gives a platform to those who have been harmed by therapists in different therapeutic models. It helped me to not feel so alone. I had a similar situation a year ago. Sessions with my trauma therapist were $200 hour but I was in network and thought I'd be covered. My coverage was $34 per session. And I didn't see my first bill until I was about 12 sessions in. I'm still paying it off. College textbooks. They can cost hundreds of dollars. And professors will publish new ones all the time to force students to get the newest version instead of reusing an older one. I'm just finished an online program and bought all of the books since I was responsible for teaching myself the material. I went onto my college's bookstore site and tried to have them buy the books back that I didn't want. They offered $15 for a textbook over $150. 15 ducking dollars. And they'll likely resell it for $75. Madness. TI-83 TI graphing calculators. Why the duck does this 30 years old technology price keeps going up. Robbing museums gets expensive. Insulin. Diabetic noises. Not unless they get their insulin. Concessions at sporting events in the US. Our taxes pay for the stadiums. Then the public has to buy tickets to get in. Then when we finally get inside, they are gonna charge $14 for a $3 beer. I remember a co-worker told me a story of a baseball game he went to after buying tickets and beer slash food. They sat down and it started to rain. It was raining too bad to keep going so they called the game. He said that was $50 down the drain. In 1989, my brother wound up with corporate tickets to an Oakland San Fran World Series game. It was cancelled due to earthquake. Dying. 
It's so expensive to get out of the system. It's easier the second time around. First time huh? My EpiPen. Kinda can't really afford to keep getting them. I'll be screwed if I get stung up and I'm a landscaper. Edit. Thanks everyone for the info on how to find them for much cheaper. Very much appreciated. A lot of great info here. You might not be aware, but EpiPens are up to 85% effective 4 years after expiration date. And don't throw them out just because they have expired. As long as the liquid in the view window is clear and not cloudy, you're good to go. HTTPS colon slash slash www drug topics com view are EpiPens still good after their expiration date. So does that mean my 10 plus your out of date EpiPen would be worth using versus dying? Ducking salads. Man it's so frustrating. Sometimes I just want something light and it costs me more than 6 hamburgers. Caesar salad $13. Pennies worth of lettuce and dressing. Croutons? $1 extra. Chicken? $3 extra. I've seen $17. With tax. Chicken Caesar salads at super mid range places. I just ate at a restaurant this evening that offered a Caesar salad for $15. The chicken was $6 extra. I know everybody is going to give better answers. But for the life of me, I cannot without why suitcases are so expensive. They're just plastic shells, a zip and some wheels. Yet they sell for hundreds. My guess, part of the logic, from the company POV, might come from the fact that they are an infrequent purchase. And for being so infrequent for the majority of people, they only get a couple repeat purchases from each customer in the customer's lifetime. Edit to add, also, demographics wise, if people are buying luggage, that means they likely have some disposable income for travel and can afford a bag for the lifestyle too. Also utility versus accessory, you can charge a premium on something you label an accessory. Whereas my large sturdy luggage cost me $35 has lasted 3 years of semi-regular use. It is ugly. But I don't care. I don't wear my luggage on dates. Medications needed to live. Insulin. EpiPens etc. Good lord yes for EpiPens. It's suggested to have two on you at all times and they need them at school and or after school care. Then they expire every year. Unless we hit our deductible. We're shelling out hundreds a year for something we have. Thankfully, never needed to use. I believe it's Joe Manchin's wife or daughter Heather Bresch suggested schools and people to have two EP pen. Heather, former CEO of Millen decides to increase the prices of insulin and EP pen and claim not to know why. She then sold the company to outside buyer that had turned that needed to live in West Virginia. Joe Manchin during pandemic time refused to help out his own state be saying we shouldn't give handouts. And housing. I swear so many modern problems are because of the cost of housing. Wait until the next one's hit. Food is ramping up and the commodification of water is next. We're getting squeezed more and more every year. And it's all starting to get to the point where I think we're going to read more and more about people losing their shit. My husband needs rituximab infusions due to a rare kidney disease. They are $16.000 each. That's $16.000 per 4 hour infusion. And they aren't covered by our insurance. IDK if you know about this but generally you can make insurance cover certain things that usually aren't by default by filling out some forms stating that there are no alternatives available and it's not a cosmetic procedure. It works with my meds. At least. Second. You can negotiate the final bill with hospitals. Not the insurance. If you tell them straight up that you can't pay remotely close to that they usually drop prices by 70-80% just like that. Read more about it before trying it but it definitely works. Or the best case scenario. Fly to a third world country like India which is cheaper and get it done there. Dollar sign 1200 for round trip and maybe about same if not cheaper through a public hospital. Edit. For those complaining about me referencing India as a third world country, I just wanna say that the context the term is usually used in is meant to describe a developing nation and is no insult to any country. Didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings. Also, when I said that price can be dropped by 70-80%, 
It was an understatement. In reality it can be dropped by much more but I can't stand on a definite number to answer exactly how much. Edit 2. The term third world arose during the cold war to define countries that remained not aligned with either NATO or the Warsaw Pact. The United States. Canada. Japan. South Korea. Western European nations and their allies represented the first world. While the Soviet Union. China. Cuba. Vietnam and their allies represented the second world. This terminology provided a way of broadly categorizing the nations of the earth into three groups based on political and economic divisions. Wikipedia. Stop taking third world country so hard guys. It's not a dong. Take it as easy. Plus one to visiting India and Mexico for expensive surgeries. My friend's dad stayed in India for three months to get a complicated spine surgery and a partial nephrectomy done. It cost them around $10,000 including tests, hospitalization, one month, medical equipment, surgery, rent, food, travel etc. Same thing in US would have cost them over $40,000 due to insurance related complications. And all this was apparently at one of the top hospitals in India. While coming back they stocked up on insulin cartridges and other medicines which meant savings worth thousands of dollar sign. Those three months weren't the best for them but hey, they aren't broke and he's leading a perfectly normal life now edit. Looking at some replies and DMs I get a sense that some people feel it's almost immoral that people from other countries can visit poorer countries to get medical treatment. Well, I'm no expert and maybe this issue needs further discussions. Based on what I know, I don't think what my friend's dad did was wrong. He explored an option that was advertised at him paid for it and got services he needed. It was a win-win for all parties involved. I also don't think he got his surgeries at a subsidized public hospital. So I don't think the argument around misusing public money meant for Indians holds any ground. Edit 2. You can also bring insulin and other medicines to US as long as a doctor prescribed it to you and you don't intend to resell it. Obviously you cannot carry a suitcase full of medicines. But you can get a few months of supplies with you for individual use. Just don't be stupid or do illegal stuff. Health insurance. For a family of four it can cost you $1. 400 a month to have the privilege of paying the first $12.000 of all your medical bills yourself before insurance kicks in and covers 70-80%. Like. WTF. Doing the math. You pay $28. 800 per year before insurance kicks in. Yep. Had a guy who was already paying for his daughter to be on his insurance for around $300 a month. He wanted to add his wife and stepdaughter. Short up to $1,100 a month. And that's with my company paying his premium in full. And it's shit insurance to boot. Medical and dental school see know some doctors that were only 15 grand in debt a few generations back. But now you can easily get past 150. 000 dollar sign edit. Don't forget veterinary school. Edit number 2. Damn I can't believe I struck a chord with so many people. Now that I have all of your attention. I just want to say good luck to all you. Friends and family included. I hope that you all can pay your debt and put it behind you. Lastly. To all the medical. Veterinary. Chiropractic. Dental. Pharmacology. Law, art, and any other schools that charge a ridiculous amount of money, you all can kiss it. My husband is $430,000 in the hole after med school. His residency and fellowship are 6 years total so that's 6 years of accrued interest before we can make any real payments on the debt. Genuinely grateful to Covid for saving us a few years of crazy interest. It's kind of wild. Make sure he gets an income driven repayment. Payments during residency fellowship count towards public service loan forgiveness. I'll be forgiven over $300,000 next year once I'm done with the 10 years of payments. Concert tickets. Ridiculous these days. The scalping bots snatch up all the tickets and it should be illegal. I refuse to pay for most concerts unless it is a once in a lifetime chance and they are in my top 5 band. Even buying them direct has gotten ridiculous. I used to be able to go to a show for $30 now I'm paying at least that in fees. That's for a small show. I can't even rationalize the prices for arena style shows. $200 a piece to watch the artist on a screen. Old guy here. 
Pink Floyd at Montreal Olympic Stadium 1977 was $10. The band Boston at the Forum was $5.50. Prescription glasses. I use any for my glasses. Just got a pair for $11. It's bare minimum though. My favorite pair that is going on one and a half years cost me $30. Takes a while for shipping but you can get glasses super cheap. My eye doctor wanted to charge almost $600 each for two pair of glasses. One for computer work and the other for everything else. I paid for the latter, and bought two pair of the multifocal computer glasses from Zenny for $50 each. Graphics cards. Just outrageous. I bought a 1070 when it came out. Now four and a half years later I can't even buy the same card for less than double what I paid for it. Like WTF. Yeah it's crazy. Really hope my 1060 doesn't die or I'm screwed. Feminine hygiene products. Absolutely necessary. Always expensive. You do not wanna put that off brand cheap ass stuff down there. If you haven't already, consider trying the cup. Game changer for me. Now I laugh when I go to CVS and they offer me a coupon for Fem Hig Prots. I tried the cup and I could not. For the life of me. Get it out. My partner had to fish it out while I laid in the tub. Laughing hysterically. There was so much blood. We hadn't even had sex yet. He's a champ. College University. Living edit stop reporting me I keep getting reddit cares messages about suicide lol. Or dying. Funeral costs are on the rise again. An ambulance. Five dollars. Zero 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 to be transported less than a mile. I didn't ask for it. They didn't get their money. My credit bounced back. Duck their ambulance ride tax. Furniture? $1,500 for an okay looking couch? No thank you. How about mattresses you have to get financing for? Criminal F. At home covered tests. In the last few weeks with the Omicron spike they went from $20 to $50 where I live. Like I understand supply and demand is a thing but holy shit. They're free in the UK for a pack of 7. Duck the American healthcare system. Wait, each? Here we were asked to do them daily for a while, but they're sent out free. Being poor. God I hated being poor so much. My old boss asked me if I was working out since I had lost like 15 pounds but the reality of it was I couldn't afford food. But we had snacks in the office that accounted for probably 75% of my daily caloric intake. I was going further and further into debt just to keep the bills paid. And for many months could only make the minimum payment on my credit card so the interest was also killing me. So glad I'm in a better debt free position now and have the ability to help out those less fortunate than myself glasses hell i didn't choose to be blind as a short-sighted bat why do i have to spend a duckton on a thing that i literally need to function open bracket this concept extends to meds and other indispensable things but for the sake of the thread it's just glasses edit i am not complaining about the actual price i know there are more affordable shops my beef is with the fact that i need glasses to see and i either have to pay or i can go duck myself with braille my shitty 1BR apartment in the Bay Area. Land housing the way the prices keep moving up without ever going down doesn't seem right. Honestly, feels like just about damn near everything these days. Beef jerky. I read once someone was mad about the price of jerky so tried he to make it on his own on the cheap. Only to discover the price of jerky costs exactly what it takes to make it. Without all the time and fuss of doing it yourself. It's dehydrated beef. It takes a lot more beef than you think to make it. You don't realize how much you actually eat. Housing. Especially if you're a single guy who only comes to sleep at night. Daycare. Therapy. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle and health in general. Education and health care. Insulin. Albuterol. How the hell does a life-saving medicine go from $15 to $75 while simultaneously lowering the amount of dosage? Rent has become unbearable for the average renter and has risen dramatically annually throughout most of the U.S. The ratio of rent to income indicates rent prices are rising at a faster rate than renter incomes. The average renter spends 28.39% of their income on rent. Among female wage earners, 
the average rent is 35% of individual income. In 2012, 22, 85% was the average rent as a percentage of household income. That's a 24, 25% increase in the rate of rent to income in 8 years an average annual growth rate of 3, 0.3%. The value of the average wage increases at an annual rate of 3, 44%. Rent prices increase 12, 5% faster than wages. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.